Hey, it's Tim Piles, loudspeaker. We're here with Justin Pearson of Head Wound City. How are you, my friend? I'm decent, thank you. Just decent? Yeah, yeah. You're never uh, in a good mood. Are you all in a good mood? I, yeah, yeah. Okay, just yeah. checking. It's been, a, it's been something lately. I like something. Uh, we're excited we're here talking to you in the bowels of the CASBA office about Head Wound City. You're back in San Diego. Yeah. Thank you for returning. <laughs> I, I, you don't have to thank me. Well, you live here. I love it. Well, it's really cool. You've got an amazing supergroup of friends, and do you like the term supergroup at all? Most terms I don't really like, but I don't really not like it. It just is, it is what it is. No classifications, I would just basically. Say I'm in a band with some friends and like leave it at that, you know. Cool friends too, by the way. Uh, you know, friends from the uh, Blood Brothers. But uh, Nick Zinner gets in the picture. I'm really curious because I knew the Locusts and Blood Brothers were friends and toured together, uh, but Nick Zinner. Coming a little bit later, I, I would I would say, or had you didn't know him in the New York scene originally uh, back in the day at all before the Yeah Yeahs? Uh, oh, not before the Yeah Yeahs. I met him like I think when their EP came out, the, okay. the first EP. Yeah. And the band, uh, how did the band come together originally back in the early two thousands? Uh, um, Nick and Jordan, I believe, were the ones that kind of conceptualized it and suggested it, and it just kind of happened uh, sparsely and randomly. But how many shows back then did you actually do? Just one. <laughs> and now how many shows has Head Wound City done? We did a two short, like, little two-week-ish tour. So, I don't know, like uh, 30 shows, maybe? Maybe a little bit more. You got an album coming out in May, courtesy of Vice, A New Wave of Violence. There's already been a couple tracks that have been teased. It's it, it's it's space rock spazcore, kind of in the vein, a little bit of, of what your bands are known for doing. But I, I definitely can understand the vocals. Is that through most of the songs? Um, yeah, I mean, we worked with Ross Robinson, and he was very really, um, adamant about. He's very vocal specific, I think. So it, it, it worked out well. But I think, I think for like most of all of our projects, even like, um, even with like Gabe singing in Dead Cross and me singing in Retox, um, it's it's always been like a, a thing to like actually try to be able to decipher what we're saying. You know, I mean, it, back in the, you know. The start of the locust, like it really wasn't a concern. It was more, wasn't really lyrically. It was more just like another instrument. I mean, there were lyrics, but it was never really a concern if someone could understand what we were saying. But now we do just kind of strive for that. It's pretty cool. You guys are going to go on the road with the Savages, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, what's been going on on the road? Have the fans been uh, supportive? Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> we didn't do the tour yet with them, so. Oh well, sorry. No, the tour so far you've been uh, on. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's been great. What is the difference between, say, playing in uh, Seattle to San Diego? Like, I know we're at the Casbah tonight. It, it, doesn't get, it doesn't get too hardcore. I mean, they do keep it pretty controlled here. Yeah. Are the shows, like, out of control, and, and, or are they re subdued? What, what's the audience? How, does, how do they react? That's an interesting question. I mean, I think Seattle is a lot like San Diego for this band because of Jordan and Cody. But as far as, like, the audience's reaction being subdued or or crazy or whatever it, it's for one I, I don't really notice it necessarily when it's happening um, it's kind of like uh, something that you would notice after the fact I, I, I believe because uh, like during it during the show it's like you're transcending to something and you're not really e e exactly like there sure, sure. Uh, so so I mean last night we played in LA and it was it was rad you know really nice energy and it, it was a very it was just a lot of energy, you know? I mean, I don't know if you want to say that's subdued or, or, or like, violent. Energy's I, I, good, though. Sure. It, it's, it's a weird thing, like, a, you know, like, with punk and hardcore and stuff, there is this, like, sort of negative aspect to the aggressiveness, which it's not necessarily negative or hateful or violent. It's just aggression sure. that is channeled for, hopefully, I mean, at least for us and the band and a lot of our comrades and stuff, it's, like, a positive thing. I mean, there is negative aggression but it, for us at the show it's not supposed to be like that you know i mean people do occasionally cross that line but the people that go to your shows i tend to think they take care of each other i hope so yeah i mean There's no there's vibe. some there's some serious jerks you know like everywhere. yeah everywhere <laughs> you know but you can't like you don't really know you, you can't like check their id and it's like oh that's a jerk you know like you don't know yeah. they're, they're there and then it happens so you can't pick your fans <laughs> but you can pick your friends y true yes that's right. and we're friends <laughs> <laughs> that excites me every day to no end. Uh -huh. Justin Pearson, who is an author, actor, 
I don't think he's done any centerfolds yet, but you know what I want is I would love, I think you'd make an awesome um, action hero. Maybe, you know, kind of like, I guess, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but with the locust, and then you go out and you're, you know, fight crime. Yeah, well, that'd be better. A little bit more like, you know, yeah. A little more mature. Real. Yeah, well, I guess. Yeah. What would you go after? Uh, I could imagine you could Politicians. Politicians yeah. and, uh, and people that uh, breed animals for food. No, no, no. I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of injustices in the world, you know? Like, I mean, I, I guess, you know, there's... I don't want to sound like... Uh, I don't want to display my, 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 you know, manifesto, I suppose. Sure. But, you know, for the most part, like, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd go after, like... The fascists, or the, or the, or the, or, the, or like, are the rapists, or you know, whatever, like, or the politicians, you know, they're all kind of like uh, encompassing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Are Are you voting? Do you vote? Um. Yeah, it's something I wouldn't really want to discuss necessarily, but I. Um, if you voted, oh, I, I, I do. Mm, vote. I do vote. I'm not. A, I don't really think that this is a true democracy. Um. And, and I. And I. I mean, we're. It's a pretty large topic. I mean, you have the Democrats and the Republicans, which, in, to me, is essentially the same. So it's 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 a tricky thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, Justin Pearson for president. I don't I, no no. I mean, maybe if we could uh, destroy the system and rebuild it, then I would be open for that. But I think there's people that are just extremely qualified to run some sort of government. Um, I don't think I am, but uh, I'll just make some kind of music that goes along with it or something, Certainly. I guess. You yeah. definitely have been, uh, you know, touched by the world and society, and, and it's a big part of your bands, and, and you talk about things, everything from Roger Hedgecock in The Locust. I mean, you've been obviously very political and, and talked about society. Well, that's the thing is, like, the world that we live in, it influences the art that we create. You know, I mean, it, it, we can sing about, you know, you know, corn dogs and, 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 you know, bringing sexy back and about a new car or something if we wanted to. And that's fine for whoever does that. But for me, it's like, I see these things, you know, you, you, you know, especially now, I mean, we can, without sounding too trite, you know, you can look at like issues with, with, with Trump and, and, and being, you know, overtly racist against Muslims and, and Mexicans. And it's like, wow, man, this is, this is like a guy that a lot of people in America like. And that's why there's the music that Headwind City creates. And that's why people go, you know, essentially go ape shit at a show because they're just there's something happening sure. there, and, and there is a collective consciousness amongst certain people be it the you know at a trump rally or people at, 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 that are into like punk and hardcore or just into art or anything you know like it doesn't it doesn't matter but i do feel like there's a, a collective consciousness amongst human beings um good and bad depending on where where you fall on that spectrum the catalyst of of what's going on i mean i've never Witnessing what's going on right now in the political process is insane, and it only, to me, possibly can spawn uh, a new generation of punk rockers and, and something like that. I mean, there really hasn't been anything in a long time, and, and I see a lot of angry young people. They're not happy, and, and the vitriol that Trump spews is so hateful. It's, like, really bizarre. Um, a new wave of violence. Does that tie into the song? album title at all i mean jordan came up with the title but I, it's i think it's i think it's speculative you know and you can apply it to, to how you, however you want but i mean it's it's interesting to say like the time we were in is crazy there's no doubt about that but i think the time that has come before us and before that's been just as crazy I mean, you think about things like you know nixon and the watergate you know watergate scandal or you think about things like vietnam or even like the george bush senior in the start of the iraq war there's all these things where it's just like this is such an insane time right now and then like Ten years later, you're like, this is such an insane time, right? and then another, you know, and you're like, so I mean, like, it's not really that insane. It's like you, the Trump thing is fascinating. It's like, sure. it's like a, it's like a freaking circus, and it's um, crazy that people are into it. But yeah. it fits, it's fitting for like all the like weird like, you know, reality TV shows and shit that people really do prescribe to and like admire, you know. And so they look at this gentleman, <laughs> and they think like, oh my God, he's like uh, someone I, I can relate to or at least be amused by. I mean, it's totally amusing. It's I, hilarious. Yeah. I mean, so is like, you know, watching um, Ted Cruz eat a booger. That's pretty insane, yeah. too. I mean, I, I think that was that was equally as amusing as watch. I like the bird landing on the podium when Bernie, 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 Bernie mm -hmm. Sanders was speaking. That was pretty rad, too. I mean, that was like... That's cooler, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that guy lucked out, you know. He animals love burning. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't have to eat a booger. So, <laughs> was it really a booger?
Yeah, I don't know. It sure looked like it. That guy sucks, so who cares? I'll say it's a booger. <laughs> yeah, they all suck, man. They all suck. Yeah, Bernie, I'm, I'm kind of okay with. But yeah, basically, uh, I'll run for president someday. Under the... under. <laughs> Support local music. That would nice that would though. be my. I know, I know. I love you so much, and I'm so lucky to hang out with you. Headwound City's new album, A New Wave of Violence, Vice Records, comes out in May. And did you guys do a late night TV appearance? You haven't done anything like that yet, right? I've never done anything like that. Anything? You've just been on uh, Jerry Springer. Late night. Jer Jerry yeah, Springer. TV. Yeah. Not, not, that can be found on YouTube. That's a whole other story. Yeah. That's you making fun of the whole reality TV that's, thing. Uh, that's like me kind of like tapping into like the Trump fans, like that mentality, that lifestyle. America's a fucking weird place. <laughs> I can say that here because we're going online. Justin Pearson, Locust, Retox. Retox is busy as well? Uh, we're taking a little bit of a break, but we're about to start working on some stuff. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for chatting with Thank us. Thank you so much. <laughs>